Hey guys, part two. Now, I showed you the areas of egress, the three doors that we have. Showed you the room, as you can see as I'm walking by. Uh, also, near every exit in this entire building, because of safety code, within arm's reach, you should find a fire alarm. If you reach up here and pull it down, and if I pulled it down, you would probably laugh at me right now, because the alarm would go off, and it would signal for the fire department. I mentioned the tornado plan that I have on the wall there, tornado plan, and also near every exit is a fire extinguisher. And this is something that we're gonna talk about in our class. Fire extinguishers are very important for fire safety. Uh, we'll use the pass method, pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. And we'll discuss that a little more in depth. But basically, if there was a fire, you need to get a fire extinguisher. This comes right off the wall, just like this. We set it down, or you can hold it. I'm gonna set it down because of I'm filming. It's got a little plastic tab to keep that pin in place. That pin keeps us from accidentally discharging this fire extinguisher. So, depending uh, on the mercy, we would just, if we're able to, we just pull the pin. If not, we'll pull the plastic, then pull the pin. And then we will take the hose. We will aim it at the base of the fire. We'll depress the plunger and we'll sweep back and forth at the base of the fire. These little fire extinguishers are awesome. If you'll notice, it's red. Uh, this is an ABC extinguisher. That means that it will do uh, electrical fires. Uh, it will take care of uh, wood and paper fires. It'll take care of grease fires. Uh, it's a dry chemical. It's a dry chemical powder. And we'll also look here to make sure it's charged. And this little, if you can see it, it needs to be in the green, and it is. You don't want it overcharged. You don't want it undercharged. And once it's used, uh, then we will... Uh, request a new extinguisher or a recharging of this extinguisher. Generally, they'll just bring us a new one and take this one back. Now, we have two fire extinguishers in our room. We have one at each exit. Uh, again, that's a way of egress there. I'm going to take you over to the other side of the room now. And we're going to look at this other one. You'll notice this one's a little bit bigger. How we got a bigger one, I'm not 100% sure. But in this case, if you have a fire, bigger is better. And there it is. There's your pull station. There is your fire extinguisher, and that's the way of egress. So let's say that we're sitting in class and the alarm goes off. Now we're not just gonna get up and run out. We're gonna look at what's going on. Do we smell any smoke? Do we see any, any fire? Do we hear any evidence of fire? Uh, are we feeling any heat? We're just not gonna run outside. You know, the alarm goes off, I, we're just not going to jump and run. We're going to we're going to evaluate the situation. If we're safe, we've got three ways of egress. And I never mentioned we also have windows. We got two huge windows there. So getting trapped in this room, related to a fire, I'm not going to say is impossible, but our chances are very slim because we have a lot of we have a lot of ways out. Uh, so we're going to we're going to evaluate the situation. I'm gonna ask the question, one, are we in the immediate danger? Even though the alarm's going off and that signals that we need to exit the building, uh, we're gonna see if we're in any immediate danger. I'm not just gonna run, we're just not gonna pick up and run outside. Uh, I'll probably make a phone call. I will check to the front office, is this a drill? Uh, does anybody know what's going on? Uh, teachers, we communicate through text, through phone. Is it, you know, where is this fire originating from? What area? If it's right next door in industrial mains, right on this wall, then we want to go in that direction. Of course, we have our we have our ways of egress. We have our ways of escape during a fire or an emergency. So we'll we'll take a look at that. Uh, but once we determine that it's safe to exit, we'll go ahead and exit, and we'll choose the best route at that time, depending on where we're at and the location of the fire. And you'll see here we have a fire escape plan. Uh, this is the room out the back door, out the front door. Uh, and then we don't have, but there's a way right out here out this side door. So we can, as you can see, here's the front, here's the side, here's the side. And that's our emergency fire plan. And then our tornado plan. It says if we have a tornado, we're gonna go in this room right here, this room right here, which is not an exit and it's got block walls all the way around it. Honestly, if we're in a tornado situation, uh, and we have ample enough warning, uh, we're gonna go to the men's bathroom. Uh, we want as many walls between us and the outside. 
We don't want any windows. Now that storage bill, the area does not have any windows. Uh, but the other side of that is that has two walls to the outside. Uh, I know that is our plan to go in there, and we may go in there depending on the situation. But if we have enough time, then we're going to go to the men's bathroom, we're going to close the door, and we're going to shelter there. There's more walls between us and the outside, and we're able to close that door. And I personally, I feel more comfortable there. Uh, I do not like tornadoes. Uh, so if you have any questions, as we put this video up, uh, when I do the assignment to, to watch this video and to, to follow the link to my YouTube channel, uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, I'll leave a space there for comments or you can email me your comments if you have any questions. So we've talked a little bit about fires. We have a fire. We've showed you where the fire extinguishers are. We showed you where the pool stations are inside the room. And know in any building, if it's built according to fire code, within arm's length or very close to the exit of that building, there will be pool stations and there will be a firearm available. We've talked about the AED, we've talked about the first aid kit where it's located, and the emergency eye wash station. Uh, and those eye washes are good till 2021. So if we won't have to worry about them till next year. But we'll check them every month, we'll take a look, make sure there's no any damage to the bottles and those kind of things. Uh, so we've talked about the fire station, the AED, the first aid kit, we talked about the ways of egress. Now, uh, since this is going on my YouTube channel, I'm not 100% sure that I want to talk to you about everything we would do in an intruder situation. Matter of fact, I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, uh, we do have an intruder uh, or a, an emergency if we go into lockdown. Uh, it's not wise to put this out on YouTube. Uh, when you come into the building, I will discuss that with you in person. Uh, but if we have a situation where we have an intruder or an active shooter situation, we'll talk about the safety protocols that we have in place uh, to keep everyone safe. And we subscribe to the run, hide, and fight. If we can run, we're going to run. If we can hide, we'll hide. If not, we're going to fight. Okay. So, but uh, that's, it's, it's a shame we have to think about those things in the day and time that we live in. There was a time that uh, when I was growing up, we never thought about any of that. Uh, but now we have to prepare for those things. So other than that philosophy of run, hide, and fight, uh, I'll describe our protocols that we have in place when I have you here in class in person. All right, I think that's it for this video. Uh, remember the fire extinguisher, pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. That's the pass method. Uh, that'll be on a test. That'll be on your safety test. You'll have a safety test related to room safety. Uh, we've talked about uh, tornado. If there's a tornado, we'll go to the designated tornado shelter. Uh, whether that's in the room or at the men's bathroom. If we have a, a fire, we will, once we verify the direction, we'll go out. Uh, when we go out into the parking lot, we're gonna go far enough back and I will direct you uh, probably out toward the dumpster at the, on the other end because we'll have the fire trucks and different things will be coming in. Uh, if we have an earthquake, yeah, I never talked about an earthquake, but if we have an earthquake, and we do live in an earthquake zone, uh, we will get under our desk and we will shelter there until the, until the earthquake has ceased. And then we're going to exit the building. We will exit the building and go in a safe direction, uh, knowing that generally when they're after the initial earthquake, there's generally aftershocks. Uh, so we'll exit fairly quickly uh, after an earthquake if that happens, it happens to occur. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, you can comment uh, on the assignment portion on Canvas. Uh, or you can send me an email and we'll, we'll discuss those questions. Hey guys, have a great day. This is Safety Video Part-Time. My name is Mr. Justice and this is Health Science Miller Area Technology Center. Uh, and we will uh, look forward to actually having you all in class. We, can, we will get past this COVID thing. Stay safe and well. See you.